Hello everybody, it is Emery48 here and welcome to the first Marvel Monday where I'm actually going over a movie. Uh, the first movie that I went for is Captain America the First Avenger. I'm going in timeline order, uh, which I basically chose to do because of recently watching the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. And I thought how stressful that could be if you haven't seen episode 4, the original Star Wars, and know who survived. So I'm going to be going through the Marvel timeline in that order, because I think it will make the emotional feelings a little bit more there, because I don't know exactly who makes it to the next movie or not. Uh, but Captain America was the first one. The only movies of Marvel that I've watched all the way through is Deadpool. And I've enjoyed Deadpool, but I've never been able to make it through a full other, like, serious Marvel movie. With that being said, I really enjoyed Captain America. But before I get into more about Captain America, I'll go over a ranking system that I am going to basically be using throughout this series uh, to see if my fandom of Marvel improves or stays where it is it's going to be on a zero to ten scale i've started at zero because i think that's fair i i don't really watch marvel i have never had much interest in it uh so i started at zero for reference star wars for me would be a 10 that doesn't mean that there aren't people that are a bigger star wars fan than me it just means that in my life there aren't many things that i am a fan of more uh so now we'll get into Captain America and see if it helps move me up that that ranking. Uh, I really enjoyed Captain America. I ha It felt like a lot of similarities to Indiana Jones, uh, some crazy Nazis going, and I really enjoy Indiana Jones, so that's a good thing, not a, not a bad thing. Uh, a lot of crazy Nazis going for a religious god artifact to gain power. And they go a little nuts, and some American strapping lad has to fight those Nazis. I thought it was really good. I thought Agent Carter was a really cool character. Um, I knew I was starting to like the movie when the doctor got shot and died, and I was sad. And I knew at that moment that I was enjoying the movie because I had been drawn in emotionally, which I was not expecting, so I was pleasantly surprised about that. Uh, I did think it was a little bit slow to start, but action-wise, but I didn't really mind that. I was intrigued with the story, so I didn't mind the action being low. I was just kind of surprised that a Marvel movie did take that long to get to action. Uh, as soon as the movie ended, I wanted to move my scale from a zero up to like a four. Um, but this is an overall Marvel scale, and I don't think at this point moving it up to a four is rational. Uh, I, I could just be a Captain America fan or a fan of the specific movie. So at this point, it's it's only going to move up to a two, but that was more than I was expecting it to move after the first movie. Uh, we'll say that. I, I really liked the Bucky character. I thought he played a fun role throughout the movie. And I was glad that he had other, I guess, normal non-superheroes with him fighting alongside him. That was really cool. Uh, again, the Agent Carter character I thought was really cool, and I'm glad that the next uh, thing on my list to watch is the Agent Carter series. That excites me. I've been warned that maybe it's not going to be as good, but I have also been told that Agent Carter is a, one of the good TV shows. So, I'm hopeful, and I have a more positive mind going into this than I did coming into Captain America. I will say I was a little negative, as I am not a big marvel fan coming into this but it is a good start on my marvel journey if there are any other things you want me to mention uh, in these videos because uh, I, I don't really have much structure this is kind of a free form just me talking about a movie that i've never watched before please let me know uh let me know things that you want me to mention in previous movies without putting spoilers but saying like maybe talk about this or talk about that let me know what you want to see down below. I hope you enjoyed this 
new series, and I hope you join me for the rest of the journey. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.